last week because it was just um, ended up being one of them horrible weeks that we had just running around and everything. Um, I have managed to get the padron. The padron I was having the problems with. Um, obviously need a padron to get the kids in school and uh, that was just a I don't know what was going on there but we've sorted it anyway so padron sorted I've got my appointment tomorrow to get the little darlings into school they should hopefully be starting on Wednesday so we're looking forward to that um did um three markets over the weekend at the oasis where I do um, the weekly market uh, that was really good um, loads of people were turning up and uh, they had all sorts of things going on there so really good weekend really hot weekend um, I didn't feel too good on the Friday but so today though is really overcast but really humid so I think uh, a couple of storms might be in in uh, the horizon for us so this week yep yeah, is basically about getting Tommy and Keris into school and Keris's face if you could see her face then that was so funny <laughs> I don't think they're looking forward to it, but yeah, Tommy and Keris into school, and um, I've got my market this week, and yeah, we'll see how it goes, basically, so keep on watching. So, we've just been to school to enrol the kids. My God, more paperwork. They want um, birth certificates of the kids, copies of the passports, um, what else did they want? They want them to have a medical before they even, well, not before they go to school, but they do want a medical sorting. Um, I've got a load of books to collect for them. That is a case of, I've got to get these books and then take a check back to them and they give me the money back or something. Um, they, <laughs> they start school on Thursday and um, are finishing at three. And then from October uh, through to May, I think she said it was, they finished school at five o'clock. <laughs> Tommy's not happy about that, but I am. Um, so yeah, so at the moment, uh, they can finish school at one and come home for lunch, which you might do because it's like four, four euros 25 for lunch if they have it at school. Um, probably be cheaper for me to do it at home but then you know I've got to drive over and collect them at the same time and that's so I'm just trying to I might just do it on one day when I'm at market or, some, or the days I'm at the markets um have them have their lunch at school and then collect them at three or get mum to collect them at three so I'm just trying to figure out my little uh, routine on that one but um yeah so Thursday so they will be in school and I literally cannot wait hate to say it I am that parent you know go on your little darlings get in they've driven me absolutely crackers this last couple of weeks but uh, yes yeah, so it's really like oh god all the stuff that you've got to take in and get sorted and all of that is um, a lot lot more than what they want in the UK but there you go they are in school on Thursday Woo! we're on countdown now it's nine o'clock here and I think they've fallen asleep, the kids. <laughs> I've literally got 12 hours to go. <laughs> I told you I'm on countdown. I can't I can't help it. I'm so excited <laughs> that they're going off to school, bless them. Their mood at the moment is... Keris is... Uh, I think she's just copying Tommy, basically, because he's very, very anxious about starting and he's worried he's not going to make any friends but obviously he will make friends once he gets settled and that so Keris is saying she's anxious but out of the two of them it's actually Tommy that I'm um more worried for bless him um than Keris she's just like fog on leg on that one but yeah 12 hours and counting and uh they shall be skipping in there with their little rucksacks uh, one thing I noticed when we went to take the paperwork in the other day was that like the boys Tommy's age I find the children are much younger here um, than back home in the UK like the kids that you know that were sort of Tommy's age were coming out just with simple things like um, Toy Story rucksacks which 
wouldn't happen back home. They just seem a lot sort of more... There was only two boys with football bags and the rest was like Woody Woodpecker and things like that. So, but some one... <laughs> the other thing I noticed was... Uh, for Tommy's age group, they were coming out with like rucksacks on on wheels, like little suitcases. So I dread to think um how much homework they've got, but he won't be happy about that either. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about Tommy and how he's going to cope with this, but he'll be fine. He will. Um, I've got all the paperwork sent off to them today. The only thing that we haven't sorted is the medical, but they said that's not going to hold them up going in. But it's obviously something that I've got to sort. And then tomorrow, once I've dropped the little darlings off, I will be going to the Oasis for uh, the market. And I've got a couple of things that I've been making um, extra. For so, yeah, 12 hours. 12 hours. Oh, well they've gone in and they were ready really early for school um they said they weren't excited but the fact that they were ready early makes me think that they were and um it was a bit confusing because obviously i don't know who the teacher is or anything um of who's going to meet them when they go into the school but I asked and they said just wait outside and then there was another little girl who was also starting today and um, all three of us eventually went in and, and said to the guy, you know, new starters but obviously the language barrier. <laughs> I, nearly, I nearly said which door do I wait at but I nearly said um, suitcase in Spanish. <laughs> I couldn't remember the word for door. <laughs> um, that was uh, made me chuckle but it's the it's the language barrier the kids will be better at spanish than me before long but tommy looked like he was gonna throw up he just went absolutely white when we were waiting and the, the teacher came over and uh, said she was going to take both of them and uh, he just looked really Carys was a bit quiet but she'll be fine the minute she steps through the door she will but yeah i'm a bit i'm a bit worried about tommy at the moment bless him um but I'm sure he'll be fine once, uh, give him an hour and he's he's got a little friend and that. They'll probably buddy him up. But yeah, that's it. They're in. So, um, find out how it all goes later on with them. <laughs> Tapas Friday. <laughs> Have a good day out, guys. It's absolutely gorgeous down here. Really quite quiet on the beach today, but it's absolutely windy as you like look at this though 